Hi everybody, my name is Marquita Mears and I'm here at SciTech Discovery Center and this is our science series. Today I'm going to teach you a little bit about super saturated solutions. And the experiment we're going to do is with some materials that you can find at home or at your local drugstore or your grocery store. So what you're going to need is a disposable cup. Um, this part's really important because you are going to be forming some crystals and sometimes those crystals are kind of difficult to get out of a glass material or out of a cup that you use on a regular basis. So I always use a disposable cup for this. You're also going to need, um, I usually use some pipe cleaners. You could also use wooden materials or some really beautiful fake flowers. It's important not to use real flowers, however, because to make our super saturated solution, we are going to have to add some boiling hot water to our solution and that will really quickly ruin your flowers. So some other materials you will need is, I usually use a tea kettle for this, but you can put a pot on your stove to boil some water, and some borax, which like I said before, you can get at Walmart, Kroger, anything like that. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna make something really beautiful that you want to preserve in crystals, because with the saturated solution, as it cools, it's going to start forming crystals all over whatever you have dunked inside of that solution. So sometimes I like to use some fake flowers or I have kids make a really cute little design with their um, pipe cleaners. And then you're gonna need something that you hang from the top of your cup so that your, your item rests nicely in that super saturated solution. And then when it's time to make your solution, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to boil your water. It's, it needs to be as hot as possible, so make sure that you're helping your kids with this part because we don't want them to burn themselves. And then the solution needs to be a two to one ratio, meaning there needs to be double water per what you're putting borax in. So I usually use measuring cups for this. And if your cup can hold two cups of water, then you put one cup of borax in it. And that's the most important thing about a super saturated solution. It means that your solution as it's mixed is no longer able to dissolve anymore. So as you add those materials up, the kids are going to stir, 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 stir. And once everything is stirred together and no more of your borax can be mixed in, then they will place their item in the water and make sure that no part of their creation is touching the walls of your cup because anything that touches either the walls or the bottom will then be covered with crystals. And you wanna be able to take this beautiful thing out of the water once you are all done. Once you have put all of these things into this cup and let it rest for a few hours, you will be able to eventually pull it out of the cup and it'll have these really beautiful crystals all lining the insides of it. And this is one that I did just earlier today and it only took me a few hours to make. So if you wanna do a really quick experiment with your kids and teach them a little bit about super saturated solutions, you should try an experiment like this.